Hi everyone, today's headlines. Section 144 of CRPC imposed in deputed areas of Dimapur and Peran. Deputy CM Y. Patton condemns Lamhai Namdi incident appeals for peace and tranquility. Kohima police arrest two ATM operators for stealing rupees 1.84 crore. All above 45 years of age to get COVID-19 vaccine from April 1. Get ready for NASA Mars helicopter's first flight. More children hit in Karnataka's second COVID-19 wave shows data. Myanmar Junda justifies crackdown accuses Su Kyi of graft. News in details. Section 144 of CRPC imposed in disputed areas of Dimapur and Peran. The Deputy Commissioner Kham District Magistrate of Peran, Sendi Wapang Ayer, and Commissioner of Police Dimapur Rodiho Tetsu under Session 144 of CRPC in 1973 imposed curfew in disputed areas along the border of Dimapur and Peran to maintain law and order with effect from 9 hours March 23, 2021 until further order. The district magistrate of Peran in his order stated that, in view of the prevailing situation concerning the incident at Lamhai Namdi village on March 22, 2021, resulting in destruction of property and loss of life leading to tension in the nearby areas. A curfew is imposed under Section 144 of Criminal Procedure Court 1973 prohibiting assembly of more than five persons and carrying of any lethal weapons and arms from Mainamsi Junction towards Mainamsi Police Check Gate to Henning Kungwa Police Check Gate bordering Dimapur District to ensure that there is no untoward incident of law and order as well as further loss of life and property. Deputy CM Y. Patton condemns Lamhai Namdi incident appeals for peace and tranquility. The Deputy Chief Minister Sri Y. Patton expressed shock and condemn in a strongest term on the recent incident that took place at Lamhai Namdi village under Peran district on Monday, March 22, 2021. Patton stated that the inhuman killing of three persons was outrageous and numbering and terms it that such killing go against the very tenant of life. Deputy CM has also appealed for calmness and to maintain peace and tranquility in the area to all concerned. Meanwhile, the government had taken cognizance of this serious issue and assured that the law will take its own course and befitting punishment will be awarded in accordance with the law of the land. Kohima police arrest two ATM operators for stealing Rs 1.84 crore. The Kohima police has arrested two ATM operators for Fraudulent misappropriation of rupees 1.84 crore meant for replenishment of cash at ATMs in Kohima. Two arrested persons identified as Mankai Konyak, 32 years, and Sandosh Katri, 27 years, are employees of Mrs. Writer Business Service Private Limited, a cash replenishment agency for State Bank of India, and are working as ATM operators, Kohima police notified on Tuesday. All above 45 years of age to get COVID-19 vaccine from April 1. Everyone above 45 years of age will be able to get the COVID-19 vaccine from April 1, Union Minister Pragas Javadekar announced on Tuesday. While announcing the government decision, Javadekar appealed to all eligible people to get themselves registered to get inoculated with the coronavirus vaccine. The Union Minister assured the nation that there is no shortage of COVID vaccine doses in the country. Get ready for NASA Mars helicopter's first flight. Before heading off to search for sign of long ago Martian microbes, NASA Perseverance rover will first undertake what may be the most technologically exciting parts of its mission, flying a helicopter. Packed under the belly of Perseverance, a car-sized robotic vehicle that landed on Mars last month is ingenuitively a four-pound mini helicopter intended to demonstrate that flying on another planet is possible. NASA official announced on Tuesday that they had selected the site for this demonstration of extraterrestrial hovering just north of where it landed. More children hit in Karnataka's second COVID-19 wave shows data. An increasing number of children aged 1 to 10 are coming down with COVID-19 in the second wave of infections, according to data assessed from the state government. 
from March 14 to 21, there were 160 cases of children being infected in Bengaluru, with the numbers being particularly high on Saturday and Sunday, at 33 and 32 respectively. At the state level, as per the data from the COVID-19 war room, 267 child infections were found over a two-week period. In contrast, during the start of the last year surge from June 24, 2020, about 16 child cases were being reported daily. Myanmar Junda justifies crackdown accuses Su Ki of graft. Myanmar military junta on Tuesday took the offensive to justify last month's COP and subsequent actions against those opposed to it, even as street demonstrations continued against the takeover. At a news conference in the capital, the military presented a video of a former political colleague of ousted national leader Hong Sang Suu Kyi claiming he had handed over large amount of cash and gold to her personally, in what the military has characterized as corruption. Such allegations were previously denied by her lawyer. Many of the protests Tuesday were staged in a way that avoided confrontation with authorities who had not hesitated to use lethal force to break up demonstration. Some marches were held before dawn in Yangon the country's biggest city and elsewhere and went unmolested. Other protests adopted the tactic of having signboards or other inanimate objects lined up in the street to serve as proxies for human demonstrators. That's all for now. To get this latest news, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.